Turn out to this, at least 30 people are dead after strong storms moved through Mexico, Oklahoma, and Texas. News 13 is already among those still missing an Albuquerque man and his family. Ralph Carey owned a vacation home in Wimberley. That's about 35, 35 miles southwest of Austin. This is the home, one of many swept away by that Blanco River that was really swelled over the weekend. Witnesses reported seeing the house pushed off its foundation and smashed right into a bridge. And as we wow. continue seeing more images like this, help from those dealing with the flood ravaged areas in Texas is coming from across the country, including some New Mexicans. So much damage. Catherine Mazzone is in the newsplex with more on what they're doing. Catherine. That's right, Adam. While the rain is stopping for some areas, though briefly, Texas Governor Greg Abbott is warning residents that floodwaters are still rising in other areas. Meanwhile, some are working to clean up what's left behind. But one Red Cross volunteer from New Mexico says Texans are taking it in stride. Which is so helpful to us. It's almost like, can, you know, they're out there in their house is, is water sitting in their yard, in their backyard. And they have no complaints, no whining. They just say, well, what can we do to help you? Nancy Gardner is a Red Cross volunteer from Española. She says she's been on many deployments, but it's never easy. She has to be flexible and willing to wear many hats. But she says she's happy to help alongside folks from across the country. I've been doing it a long time, and it is always, um, it's always a delight to be able to represent uh, New Mexico and especially northern New Mexico. Now, we caught up with Gardner as she was heading south to another deployment from Wichita Falls. The Red Cross has also sent an emergency truck to Austin, Texas. Adam, back to you. Catherine, thanks. President Obama is now offering federal assistance to those residents in Texas.